Hey YouTubers, Holland227 here. I'm going to do you guys an update video. <clears throat> I know I haven't made videos like I used to. Um, I've been under the weather lately. Um, I've had a toothache for the past four days now. I think it's going on four days. Uh, as soon as I started my vacation, toothache. Um, <clears throat> we had dinner Thursday night and uh, what we had was I think a little a piece of it was overcooked and it got hard and I bit down on it too hard and it hurt it's it's at the point where it's not too bad anymore it's almost gone um, I gotta call the dentist tomorrow and schedule him to take a look at it and see if anything got stuck way up in there that I can't seem to get out when I brush my teeth and uh, see what needs to be done to correct it but anyway I'm gonna do an update video I got 15 games to go over guys um, so I'll try to do this quick as possible I haven't played them all yet the first one that I got came in this package here if you watched one of my other videos you would know that's a swag bucks package um, I ordered three games from swag bucks but for some reason only one of them came the other two they refunded me my swag bucks and I found out today that it was because they were out of stock the game I got was an NES game and it's Solar Jetman by Trade West. <clears throat> I played this game a long time ago. Uh, and then they had it for a pretty good price, I think 40 or 41 swag bucks. So I picked it up. Now these other 14 games I got at various game stops. Um, I got some of them yesterday um, at a game stop about 30 miles away from me. I hit up about once every two months because it's, it's a very very good sized uh, GameStop and then the other ones I picked up today because I had to go back in because I pulled a game off the shelf at the farther away GameStop and it was complete and when I paid for it got it um, she gave me you know all my games stuff I got home it didn't have a book in it uh, and then I remembered she pulled the drawer out like they do and, and pulled an extra copy out they didn't even check to see if the book was in it. So I had to go in, um, get that changed, and then I had some credits left over on a gift card. So I picked up some other stuff that they didn't have at the the um, one that's called Taylor Square where I go every two months. So let me show you what I got. Uh, first game I picked up for two ninety nine was, I think it's Kaya Dark Lineage. Um, <clears throat> I looked at the back of it. I thought it looked pretty cool. Um, I haven't I haven't tried it out yet. But uh, for three bucks, I can't really go bad. And then I get, you know, I get ten percent off because I got an edge card. Uh, here's a game that um, some people have told me to stay away from, and some people have told me to get. It's made by Age Tech, and I like Age Tech games. Um, and it's Evergrace for the PS2. Um, looks like an, an RPG, and I love RPGs. Um, so this is one that I uh, wanted to check out. Uh, here's one that I just kind of uh, happened upon, uh, and then reading the back of it, uh, being a game from Feudal Japan uh, time period, I really, really like Feudal Japan and uh, fantasy um, games like uh, from that era. Um, I'm a huge Three Kingdoms fan, Dynasty Warriors, things like that. And this one is called uh, uh, Genji Dawn of the Samurai. I picked this one up based on looks alone. I have absolutely no uh, no knowledge of anything in this game. I don't. I haven't even looked it up yet. But uh, it looks really good. So uh, for five bucks, I picked it up. Uh, this is one that I see at a lot of GameStops, and I just overlook it, overlook it, overlook it uh, because of uh, Gran Turismo 3 is so good. Um, but it was it's 2.99 now, and I picked it up in its. Uh, Ridge Racer 5 so I picked it up I can't say much about it this one I got on recommendation from many people uh, many people talk about this uh, as a nice uh, action RPG adventure game um, and I've seen a lot of videos about it and a lot of people saying good things about it and it's uh, Orphan Sky on a Sorcery Um, based based on recommendations alone, I picked it up. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to do. 
Now, when I saw this game, I, I knew I automatically had to have it because I'm such a fanboy of Star Trek. Uh, but this is a game I had never heard of. Um, and this is the first time I've ever seen it anywhere, whether it be GameStop, um, you know, playing trades, uh, place out here called Video Trader, place out here called Gamescape. Um, never heard of this game before. So I absolutely had to have it, and it's another Bethesda game, which I love Bethesda games. And it is called Star Trek Conquest. Um, this case, with the exception of the sticker residue, I haven't got all off yet, is probably one of the nicest looking cases I've ever seen. It's not beat up, it's not raggedy, um, it's well above the GameStop quality. No sticker on the side either. This one I got, uh, and that one cost $9.99, it's a, bit ex a little bit more than I like to spend on PS2 games, but I'm a Star Trek fan. The next one I got was $0.99, cents, so I figured, you know, $10 game, might as well get a dollar game. It's an old, outdated sports game, but I love sports game, and being a collector, i got to have a lot of games. ESPN Color Shoots 2K4. Uh, it's a basketball game. I popped this in, I played a couple games. The legacy mode is really sweet. You start out um, playing some low-level teams. Um, I think I took Cal State, Fullerton, Titans. I'm 2-0. and Um... It's what you expect from a basketball game, but I like the legacy mode that you have to start at the bottom. This one I got because I always hear people talk about it, and I didn't know how I would like it. But um, it finally it went down to eleven ninety nine. I finally broke down and bought it. Uh, it's a greatest hits version. the The box they had on the shelf was uh, black label, but when they pulled the games out, all they had was greatest hits uh, games. So somebody probably traded them in a copy of this. Black Label but I had to put the Greatest Hits version in it. Um, dude, so put put down in the comment box what you guys think about this game because it's going to be a little while before I can get to it because i got a few other ones i got to pick up. But it's another RPG. It's Kingdom Hearts. Like I said, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I, I would really like to know. This game I got for five. Um, I heard it's pretty short. Which is what I need, a short game. I've been playing so many games that are long. I need something I can just really quickly breeze through. Um, I played a demo for this on the PC. But I'm, I'm going to assume this isn't as good as PC. And it's uh, Mafia. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've uh, The PC game was okay. I never really got into it. There's an old PC game called Mobsters. If you have an old enough computer that can run it or something with DOS. Check that game out. It was a lot of fun. Here's a game I'm looking for forever at my GameStop that's local today. Um, they were talking about a guy brought in 200 PS2 games, and they were all in mint condition. Uh, what had happened was he had had them for his niece. Uh, she moved away. She didn't want to take them with her. Um, they had been sitting for a year or so, never got any play, so he decided to trade them in for his new stuff. He's got PS3 uh, and Xbox. Uh, 360, he wanted a lot of 360 stuff. so. Uh, but this one's $2.99, and now I have both copies. Uh, this is Maximo, Ghost of Glory. I could never find this complete. I'd always find it with the book, but no cover art. And today, I said, you know, if I find a Ghost of Glory, I can print out a cover art uh, and put it in there. But I found this one. Um, another, another one, look, that case is in such good condition. Uh, here's another game that came from his collection. Uh, I can just tell from the, the quality of it, and it's a uh, Pac-Man Fever. Um, I like Mario Party games. This looked like a Mario Party type game, so I picked it up. Um, let's see, this next game, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I picked it up, and this is the game they screwed up with my book. Uh, but I, I got I got a book for it. Um, the guy at the GameStop I went to today was really cool about it. He's like, "Yeah, I'll just give you a book for it." Um, and I played it, and it's neat. It's called uh, Pirates: Legend of the Black Buccaneer. Um, it's a platformer um, strategy game. Think of platformer like um, Jax and Daxter type platformer, but it's got a lot of puzzles in it. Um, you kill enemies and get what's called offerings in this, and you have to use the offerings to save. 
Uh, every time you die, you use offerings to get resurrected or your game's over. That's kind of neat. Uh, for two bucks, I picked up Tiger Woods 2004 because I like Tiger Woods. I'm a sucker for golf games. And the last one is The Bard's Tale. Uh, very funny game. Uh, I've watched a lot of reviews on it. I'm going to pop it in. Hopefully tonight I'll have some time to play for it. Uh, the interesting thing is on the disc, it says for a real, for a really disturbing image, flip this disc over. And of course if you're a sucker, you'll flip it over and see yourself in the reflection. Those are the 15 games I picked up. Uh, comments down below. Um, any suggestions of what I need to pick up down below. Um, and, and if you played any of these games and you like them, tell me. I'm going to cut it off here because I look at my clock on my camera and I am past the 10 minute mark. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching and subscribe. Uh, recommend me. Uh, see you guys later.